China's People's Liberation Army PLA Air Force will hold joint air force exercises, Falcon Strike 2022, with Thai military starting August 14, China's Ministry of National Defense MND, announced on Friday, amid regional chaos caused by external interference in the Asia-Pacific region. To be hosted by Thailand's Udon Thani-based Wing 23 of the Royal Thai Air Force, RTAF, the 10-day exercise reflects the deepening military exchanges and mutual trust between the PLA and RTAF, Chinese experts said. They also noted that the exercise will be the first, Falcon Strike, since it started in 2015 that features the PLA's JH-7A fighter bomber. According to the MND, the main exercise subjects of this year include air support, ground assault, and force operation. The Chinese Air Force will send fighters, destroyers and early warning aircraft. Citing a source, Thailand-based Bangkok Post disclosed previously that the PLA is expected to send six J-10CS fighter jets, a JH-7AI fighter bomber and a Shaanxi KJ-500 airborne early warning and control aircraft to take part in the exercise. While Thailand is to deploy five Gripen aircraft, three Alphajet attack aircraft and ASAAB-340 AEW early warning and control aircraft. The drill is the fifth of its kind since 2015, and the last exercise was held in 2019, also in Udon Thani, media reported. The annual fighter jets exercise was put on hold in the past two years due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The joint exercise is aimed at enhancing mutual trust and friendship between the air forces of the two countries, deepening practical cooperation and promoting the continuous development of China-Thailand Comprehensive Strategic Cooperative Partnership, MND said. Chinese military expert Song Jinping told the Global Times on Friday that the upcoming exercise is one of the few large-scale joint exercises in the history of the two countries, with complex training subjects and complete military equipment. Fu Chanshao, a Chinese military aviation expert, told the Global Times on Friday that it will be the first time that China sends a JH-7A fighter bomber to participate in the joint exercise with Thailand. The JH-7A fighter bomber has a combat radius of about 1,500 km, and it's mainly for conducting long-range air-to-ground strike with self-defense combat capability, Fu said. The participation of Shaanxi KJ-500 would let the RTAF to get a close look at the role of China's airborne early warning and control aircraft and its ability to find airborne targets at long range. Song said that in the past, there were more confrontational exercises between China and Thailand mainly involving the Air Force, rather than such air-ground integrated exercises.